Well, hello, folks, and we're glad to be back with you. Finally, we're starting again on this 1976 Ford F-100 that we began to work on about six months ago. And if you've been following us, you know we've been doing everything but this 1976 Ford F-100. Well, anyway, as the old Minuteman says all the time, we're back on this project, and we hope you enjoy this video. We got the uh, F-100 frame back up on our wooden rotisseries we made here. It's the first time it's been boated up. And uh, we got it soldered, I guess, on the 45. And uh, we're just sort of brushing up on it with a wire brush a little bit. We're going to clean a little bit on it, and then we're fixing it. Get the sandblaster out and start sandblasting. We got, uh, we got a section of frame. Uh, it's about, I guess, six or eight foot long. It's got a, I don't know, it looked like a, a bunch of dried oil or something. Sort of looked like undercoating on it. So uh, we're trying to wire brush it off and then uh, so we can sandblast the rest. But uh, we fixing, we're fixing we're going to pull the rear end off and under it and uh, the front end off and under it and then set it back up on the rotisserie where we can turn it around. We just right now got uh, trying to touch up on the rest of this weld. Uh, we've been welding the, uh, the after we got the, the shock brackets here uh, lined up and everything and we hadn't ever welded them. So we decided to go ahead and weld them and then uh, right here where we turned our our springs over we're going to go ahead and weld this this one on this bracket on too we got one boat in it and uh, got it lined up got it where we want the rear end so we're going to weld that and uh we got a pinion seal for it we're going to put a new pinion seal in and probably wednesday we're going to try to take this uh, front end and rear end back out from under it and really get into uh, blasting on this thing and getting it ready to put some paint on. I got one boat in it, and uh, we really don't each side. Yeah, these shock, we went ahead and got these shock, all these shock mounts and everything welded up. Uh, got them all in place, so they're completed. And once we pull the, uh, the rear end off and under it, then we don't have to worry about it all of that it'd be done all tucked care of so we're tying all these loose ends up that we've left not undone we got several other things we want to do i think what i want to do is uh i think i want to go ahead and finish taking out the rest of this uh before we paint the frame because i'm going to box this in i've got some metal to, to go in both sides of this and uh so I'd like to bring that metal back a little further back right here. So if I can take this out, this is where the old uh, steering sector off the Ford F-100 boat. So I'm going to take that a loose, clean it out, I think, and uh, then we're going to weld them pieces in. And uh, once we get everything clean and painted, then we'll be done with the frame now. But anyway, that's where we at. We got to do a lot of cleaning on all this. Uh, this uh, Crown Vic, well, Grand Marquis. I keep calling it Crown Vic. It's come out from under a uh, 03 Grand uh, uh, Crown Vic or Grand Marquis, excuse me. But uh, they basically the same. I've got a, I got another, another, other project we got coming up next. It's uh, it's got a 2008 Crown Vic on their head and. Uh, they ain't a whole lot of difference uh, from a three to eight. They look basically uh, the same. Uh, the only difference I found was uh, 
on the end where your uh, lower control arm bolts up that big washer right there it's a different size on them so uh, that's only that's the only difference I've seen that one but parts look all that all interchangeable but anyway we uh we're gonna do a little more uh turning around here and we'll uh, get the other side ready to uh, put some uh, weld on it. The old Minute Man here puts that grinder to work, getting that surface rust off. I'm beginning to wonder if that sandblasting could do a better job, but and of course there's areas of the frame that can't be grinded. Anyway, let's sit back here and watch him get this rust off and let it be gone. Well, you can see the other side right there on the inside. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, a lot of grease filled up. I'm trying to knock all that off the wire brush. Well, when you're sandblasting, a lot of times uh, it'll just pack that grease on there. It won't knock it loose. Unless you've got a real heavy duty sandblast, but mine's sort of a small one. It'll get the job done. Oh, I'm gonna set up uh, right here, and I'm gonna try to uh, clean a little bit of this inside there. Try to rotate the frame just a little bit here. I'm about to camera up. What do y'all think about the old Minute Man's rotisserie? Well, y'all, please leave a comment below. I know he would appreciate it. to see what y'all think. That sort of helps me get the bottom here. Sort of turned up where you can see I missed some spots. I'm going to try to uh, get back in there and get a little bit of that out of there. Looking pretty good, old Minute Man. You're doing a fine job there. What do y'all think? Let's see if he can get this rust off. Oh yeah, looks like he did it. Get in that back side, Doc. Right in there by the spring. Got to clean it up a little bit. I think I got enough weld on it. That way if I ever did want to change them, it could, uh, would be some hard to cut loose. And if you stay in reverse like him and me, most likely we'll have to cut them loose again. All right. I think we got all the things welded, except we're going, like I said, we're going to cut. Let me rotate this frame down just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and cut that piece out inside there on the box part there and uh, get some uh, pieces to go in there and weld them in I got some pieces I got to cut them but I'm gonna put them in and uh, and then pretty much uh, I got a couple of spots on the back it's pretty rough spots some of these places right through here 
got a lot of heavy stuff on it. I want to clean that. But the rest of the frame is is not that bad. Uh, I think it'll sandblast okay. And then uh, Wednesday, I'm gonna try to get this uh, front end, and rear end off and under, and then get the frame, just the frame up here, and then I can rotate just the frame. I won't have a whole lot of weight. I need to put a pinion seal in, and uh, I've, I've got. I've got a pinion seal for it, and uh, we'll put that in here in a little while, and we'll uh, we'll do a little bit of filming on that. And uh, but anyway, if uh, if you just joined us, uh, and you hadn't seen what we're doing, we're working on a uh, '76 Ford with a 2003 uh, Grand Marquis Mercury front end we put under it and also uh, 373 uh, 8.8 .8, the rear end off and under it we put it under it and we've lowered put lower uh, shackles on it and turn the springs up side down and or turn the hangers and uh, try to get it to, uh, the levelness of it all the way back about the same so and then we built these uh, little old wooden rotisseries here to do this one in the 69 frame we didn't want to we got some good metal we could have built it out of but I told my son I said we can just take these apart and scrap them when we get through we're gonna try to uh, get some paint on this frame this week that's our that's our plan anyway all right we're gonna try to do a little sand blasting this is him. Well, all my YouTube viewers out there, I hope that uh, y'all staying cool because my old sandblaster got hot and I had to let it rest. And, uh, well, you can look and see what, what we got going on here. This is the right side. And on the inside, or the left side, it's cleaning it pretty good. We're gonna have to roll this frame, but I'm gonna have to wait till I get the rear end on it. It would be a lot lighter. I mean, right now, I can turn it about, I don't know, 15 degrees or something like that. I can roll it, but it's unbalanced. So, anyway, you can see it's doing a, it's doing a good job. A lot of that I knocked off with, uh, with that wire brush on that wheel and uh, wasn't as bad to sandblast with that all off. I've got some pretty rough back at the back side so I'm going to try to blast it and if it don't blast I'm going to have to take and scrape it off. It's got a lot of, uh, looks like a lot of oil, maybe grease over the years blowed back on the back of it. But, but anyway, y'all can take and push down on it a little bit. I can probably turn it about, I don't know, 10 or 15 degrees. But I can put my jack under it, and I can rotate it where I need it to be able to get to the tight places. But I think I'm going to wait till I pull the front end and rear end up and under it so it'll be a lot lighter, and I can just turn it any way I need to. I can finish up all the uh, real tight places where I can uh, get it all good and clean. And I got some... Uh, I got me some rust uh, inhibitor to rub it down with and uh, then we're going to put some primer on it and then go back in and paint it. I got some uh, semi-gloss black, I think it is, and uh, we're going to get these plates put in the front up there and get that piece cut out where the steering sector went. Oh, Jay, he's uh, cutting grass today. Uh, he was going to come over, but he was trying to get ahead of the rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so he uh, he told me he was going to get that grass, and I told him I could handle this. So uh, he should be here tomorrow, though, probably on Wednesday. But anyway, 
Hey, uh, we fixing to have to fill up on the sand here and let the old, uh, old blaster rest for a minute and uh, before we uh, get back at it. But uh, anyway, hey, hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd like to thank all the watchers out there for watching our channel. I got some up and got a cousin in Wisconsin. He's watching all the videos and I got one of my brothers up in uh, North Carolina. Uh, Johnny, he's watching. So, uh, anyway, I'd like to throw a shout out to him today. All right, y'all have a blessed day, and uh, we'll bring you back here before we actually close it down for the day and let you know what we got done here. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm glad that you're able to tune in with us today over here on this J and J Backwood shop. And the great news is this: we're starting to work on the F100 once more the 1976 and as you've already been seeing in the uh, early parts of the video uh, that the rotisserie is starting to be put into use well let's get up here and we're going to talk to the old minute man I'm sure he'll be glad to see me this morning he hasn't seen me in a long time and we hadn't made a video in a while and we apologize for that so let's get up here and let's talk to the old minute man Good morning, Minute Man. How you doing? Hey, good morning. Yeah, you see, I made it today. Well, I knew you was going to come on and over. I, yeah. I, uh, I had a feeling today since uh, Jay was back in school. Yeah, the boy's back in school, so you probably won't see him much in uh, in, in upcoming videos, but that's okay. Because okay. uh, the real star of the video is here, and that's me. Yeah. And uh, I want to... Uh, I, I can see clearly you have... Uh, been doing a lot of work, even though I haven't been here with you. You're, now you ain't mad at me, are you? Oh no. Okay, good. That's good news. No, I just cut you. I just cut you pay them a few weeks. Oh, my ago. pay's gonna be cut. Okay. That's what it was. Well, hey, that's better than being fired, I guess. Yeah, but we're gonna fire you. We're just gonna take your pay, pay away from you for I don't know, two or three weeks. Two or three weeks is gonna take my pay away. Okay. Well, all right. Well, catch us up here. I know that you've got some video footage, and it's already been shown uh, earlier in the video. Have you been doing some sandblasting? Yeah, I've got a little bit of uh, blasting done. Uh, I've got to, uh, I've got to come back and uh, finish up. I got about half of it done, but uh, I hadn't pulled, I hadn't pulled the. Uh, the, the yeah, let's talk about that. On. Let me let me ask you some questions here. Now I know you haven't, you know, the original plan before you uh, putting this frame on the rotisserie. Uh, and that you've seen in a previous video of, of us building and of course it was some old footage but you were going to uh, uh, take the front of uh, this uh, front end off right here that came out from under the old Grand Marquis that 2003 model it was right and then you was going to also back here in the back was going to take off the uh, well let me get this camera straightened y'all I'm sorry about that this rear end in the back right here this came out from the uh, 2003 Grand Marquis also Minute That's Man right. go ahead and turn a few lights on for me I appreciate that that would help the viewers uh, but what I was going to say is that well that was the original plan but uh, what happened uh, can you tell us what what transpired there to, to, that kept you from doing that well uh I needed to keep the frame mobile where I could move it right around for a few more days. Uh, That's right. They were actually giving bad weather coming in, and we knew if we if we got it out here where our lifts at, and we got it uh, got everything dropped out, it wouldn't be mobile anymore. That's and, uh, right. You got you got to keep it mobile, right? I got to keep it where I can keep it in the dry until we get all this frame, you know, fairly decent, ready to. Uh, just touch up the places where once we unboat this stuff and uh, okay. get ready to paint. All right. So are we at the point now today? Uh, are we going to be taking this out, or are we going to just leave it on? Is that still well, the game? We're going to look at it and see. Uh, we might do because, more blasting. Right. And, uh, see what the weather. So yeah, does. let's look at. Let's look, yeah, the weather is a lot to play into this, but uh, I understand what you're saying. If you take this, these uh, the wheels off. This thing becomes uh, non-mobile, and and you won't be able to get anything up here on this uh, in, in this area where we, the two post lift is. They already know that. You've been watching videos on it, but uh, if, we, if we get this area blocked up, I won't be able uh, to get any, or he won't be able to get anything up here. 
So uh, that's why I call him the Minute Man. Now he yeah, we'll he won't even wait. We'll uh, probably go ahead. We'll probably go ahead and uh, since you're here today, we may go ahead and uh, and drop the front end and back end out and under it and go ahead and uh, get it back over on the road test before we can turn it over since yeah. I got help today and. Right. We may go ahead and finish cleaning it up real good and, and shoot the frame. Okay. Today. Well. And, uh, yeah. Finish that. Uh, well, I uh, I tell you what, uh, we got some good light in here because we'll go, let's just go over this real uh, quickly. Uh, some of the uh, sandblasting work that he's done already. Uh, done a real good job. You can kind of get an idea there. Uh, and he, I think you've had to work the wire brush a little bit, have you not? Yes, I did. He I said, worked yeah. about a half a day wire brushing and uh, got it cleaned up. I still got some bad stuff on it. But yeah, I've seen some still some rusty yeah. places back here or toward the back. So this is an area you haven't really got to yet. Yeah, uh, I hadn't. I didn't get back there to the back side to uh, wire brush yet, but uh, anyway, uh, we can. Uh, Hopefully, we can scrape them last few little things we got, and we A lot of pressure there. Mm -hmm. okay. That's gonna jump now, watch it. Ready? How far? Just a little bit here, and we're gonna. Well, old Midman's having to lay down here with it. Yeah, get He's uh, gonna try to go to sleep on me. Ah. Ah. Well, it zipped right on out there, didn't it? Yes, a little short one. I really should have done both of them like that, you know, and got rid of them metric ones. I didn't do it though. So I had a bunch of them little short ones there. Ah. <laughs> a 
Here, don't take my only job from me. I holding a wrench. I got it in my pocket right here. Put it on that bottom. Man. Yeah, I was, I was holding. You was hanging on to that wrench. Right? Yeah, I, I didn't want you to take my only job from me. All right. Ready. Yeah, we don't. Well, hey, hey, this is time for the weather report. Uh, I like to say that we got a pretty good overcast day today, and uh, the sun's picking out a little bit right there, as you can see. And uh, it's not too bad up here. It's got a little breeze going on, coming out of the, uh, out of the, uh, I guess the north. I don't know where it's coming from. All I know is I feel a little breeze. So we're doing pretty good today. I'm not burning up too bad. How about you? Oh, that's all right right now. It's better than it was yesterday. Absolutely. Man, now that's a boat right there. Take some horsepower to get that out. We have them 100 torques and fire on that earthquake to get it out. Tell you what, if you're just doing that by hand, you'd been there uh, for a good part of uh, eight hours trying to screw that one out. I screwed them out when I took it out of that other front end up yonder uh, by hand. By hand? Mm-hmm. Did you take your lunch with you? I did. Supper tape. Supper tape. That was a rough job. Yeah. yeah. Man, you have to wiggle it. You have to. Okay. It's in there. It's stuck in the thing there. Oh. Well, if you ain't getting it, I feel better. Yeah. Hold that up right here, brother. What? What? Hold that. Right there. Okay. I got it. Yeah, I was just gonna tell you that I I, I seen them two boats on that. Is that a sway? Like a yeah, something sway to do, bar. sway bar? Yeah, we should have took them out. But we have got this thing. Pull the uh, pan on the bottom. Leave it like well, there we are. You know what that's called, don't you? No, we ain't in reverse. That's called being in reverse. No, we ain't in reverse, but we got to get to that. Point. Yeah, that's a prime example, folks. Even though he don't want to. He didn't, uh, I was trying to tell you, but, uh, you know, they, there's a show called Father Knows Best, and I didn't, uh, I didn't want to say anything that was wrong and offend you, and, uh, I did see it, and I would have been the hero if well, I'd say, say hey, been, old man, the, uh, long way still got two boats in it. See, this is all in the way now of getting it out. Well, that's what you call, this is a classic example of being in reverse. He don't want to call it that, but it is. We'll let the, let the thing back down. Uh, no, let it down? Yep. So right here, let me, let me point this out to the viewers. Here's where the mistake was at. We got these uh, boats right here, and of course these two right here. We got to get them off that for that sway bar. Still got us tied down to the frame. Oh, oh. 
air ratchet. Air ratchet. Well, I got an air ratchet because I got in there on top of that one. Yeah, see, that goes back to what I was saying earlier. We have the tools to work with, but it's just a matter of finding them and getting them out. So we'll do it the hard way. And the problem is, we got ahead of ourselves, and uh, we got this all unbolted here, and it caused this to shift, shift on us, and got us where we don't have any clearance to get under there to the boat to, to hit, hit it with the impact. But, as always, the Minute Man will come up with a plan, pull us out of the fire here. Look out. What have you got there, Minute Man? What is this? I call that an air ratchet. You you actually thought uh, decided to bring it out? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Decided I'd whip it out here. Well I tell you. I couldn't. I tried it the hard way and it just didn't work. It just didn't work out, so I had to Well, finally got smart, went and got the tube we needed, and there it is laying on the ground. The air. But if that's the last Lynch. mistake we make today, we're going to be good. That saved hey, us. i tell you what you could do. What's that? Oh. Let me lift up a little bit on the Well, we're finally getting that front end out of the way. Won't be long. We'll be doing some final sandblasting on this frame. There it is, y'all. Frame up in there. Swing it around, there you go. So the uh so this kind of sticks off the concrete a little bit. Yeah, I take them off. Them two by eights I got up there in the catwalk. Oh, I've been putting them on the back right now. See you right here. We're gonna get ready to, of course you can see the boats here that we're gonna mount to this plate right there. Uh, it's getting close right there. Uh, let's see. Anyway, let's see. No, let it go. Yeah, I see it now. It's pretty hard to get this lined up. No. It's the easiest part. Well, I like easy. Oh, I do too. We were a little closer than this before. We were, we were right here with the front end. And it wasn't sticking inside there. I don't know what this is going to do for us. Once we get it bowed up, we can slide this back. Yeah, right yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, we won't, so probably, let me, I, let me work that with for you. I mean, I got it. I just wanted to get it in here before I put my Here, I can get in. the back to work. Okay.
But you've already, you've already had it hooked up once. Yeah. Even with the front end, rear end on. Yeah, it hold it up. I mean, ain't no problem. But, um. Of course, that was in the early part of this video. Uh, this is another day, and he, you had to disassemble it, because since you put this two post lift up and have advertised that we're in business, uh, people have come from far and uh, near to get their vehicle up in the air to see if they got a leaking transmission or something. Yeah. One day I'll get mine over here. I guess I'll have to get we're a gonna, line, a reservation, huh? We're going to put uh, this two post up at your back. I ain't, I ain't taking it back down. What are you talking about? You ready? <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, get the first impression here, which I mean, it's already been seen, obviously. I ain't never turned it yet without. Oh, you haven't turned it? Let's uh. I, I pulled it up a little bit with a uh, with a floor jack, and never, never did actually. Let's see what it would do. All right. No bite. Well, this is an exclusive, y'all. Y'all getting to see it in action here, being turned. We're hitting back in or something. We're hitting something back here. Of course, uh, we're gonna need where, 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 what are you seeing? We're going to need you to come out of this. Oh, this frame here is hitting. It won't let us rotate. Hitting? Hitting right there. Oh, I see. So we need to what now? We need to uh, slide it out a little bit. Yeah, it needs to be slid out. This right here yeah. needs to go up. Uh, because you do have this length here. Yeah. Uh, where she did have the uh, foresight to know that you might need some clearance. What do y'all think about that? Now that's some true backwoods engineering. There he is, he's... Hitting it a little more back here to see if we can get some clearance. You know, originally in that rotisserie video, you, you were, uh, we had went through the trouble of putting these boards down right here. To put some, to, to blocks, put, put on some blocks on, but I can see that you have abandoned that. I guess that you don't really need the weight back there, huh? Well... I put them there because I didn't know what the dis distribution of the weight was going to be, you know? Yeah, distribution of the weight. Upside down. Okay. That's upside down. So now, this is the advantage right here. Let's quickly talk about this. Being able to flip it around, we're going to be able to get to the to the uh, bottom, the tops. Yeah, the cleaning, the uh, uh, We just got the, the yes, and the painting. We got the advantage of getting to areas that would uh, otherwise be pretty rough if we didn't have something to rotate around. We'd have to lay on the ground. Of course, we do have the two posts live, but this right here just makes it way too easy. I feel like we're cheating, but you can see there's still some more sandblasting to be done. We got to get this, uh, uh, let's just be honest. I say we, uh, it's pretty much gonna be the minute man. Uh, he does a good job and we appreciate what he does here. He's teaching us something. Straight out sandblasting work is uh, mighty hot, especially when it's hot out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we, we're going to have to run some air to uh, keep uh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Once He's, you suit up with long sleeve shirts on and hood on, ain't no air steering on. No air steering. Nothing between you and the elements, but good Lord. Well, that's where you need to stay hydrated. It looks good. You know, flip it around there. Let, let the viewers see all this. It's been a long time coming, y'all. And we do apologize for the, the serious delay. There's probably been 45 videos between the last time we worked on uh, this F100 
uh, from the time, the last time we uh, did anything to it. But the good Lord gave us the uh, time to, so we could make it to this uh, day and be able to uh, start once more. And I'm already seeing the advantage of the rotisserie. And uh, what did it cost you? $1.99 to build? Uh, I think we bought a box of them screws. I think spent about $10. Ten dollars and whatever you want to say the metals were, yeah. but uh, there's yeah, no we doubt didn't, we didn't have much. Well, we had the metal stuff. Well, there's no doubt it's going to be very beneficial to us. And here we go. We're going to let this, we're going to get the sandblasting started and. Uh, right here. We got a little bit of work to do. Yep, we're going to do it. We're gonna to try to uh, get a little bit more done on this. We're gonna take that, I think we're gonna take that cable loose and we'll try to find our clamp and take it loose. Yeah, that's your old emergency cable. Get it out of Matter of fact, this was what was causing us problems in the first video, was it not? It was. Yeah, this is one, I, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, this is some of our first problems as we, when we started recording these videos. Trying to get the cab off. Trying to get the cab off and We'll show you a, a little quick clip of that. Well, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah. Uh, the emergency cable. The the for the for the emergency brakes. Yeah, it's got a bracket right there. Okay. It's still connected. The cable. Well, that goes right back over to the back, and uh, I think there's one spot we can unhook it and leave it's it It's going through that uh, brace in the, mm -hmm. right there with the muffler. Yeah, let me get this thing on. I'll we'll check it out, son. Probably right here, son. Yeah. Uh, it's the best place to take it loose. So I need a pair of pliers and also a, uh, I'm going to have to have some, some spray. Finally got the cable out right there. Uh -huh. I was... Uh, for the video I was saying we got the cable out here for the emergency brake and as you can see from that previous video uh, we were having a time with this thing but uh, hey we didn't let it beat us but you could take this right here and while I'm working on stuff you can be getting some of this oh yeah make it a little easier uh, to sand blast Cause all that to do that sand hits it, it just pack it on there. It won't, it won't knock it loose. And okay. Uh, this is stuff that come from the rear end, you know, and back from the motor and stuff. It landed back here and just uh, over a period of time, dirt, mud, mixed with oil and grease, it just, it just made itself a undercoating. Uh, that's what it looks like. Yeah, that's, the, that's typically the thing that happens with vehicles, don't they? As they get older, when they start leaking oil and blowing it out. It mixes with the dirt from the road and from the dirt roads we ride on and creates a, uh, a coating, as he said. Well, he's already got me a job to do here. I look forward to getting on it. That's going to get us a board in, though. Yeah. Well, the yeah. thing is, folks, right here, we're having an issue with the balance of it. In other words, uh, this thing ain't, well, you can't just hold, it won't hold position. If you hope, wanted it to just what stay, what you got to do to make it work, you got to build you some uh, balancing points here. You got to be able to drop this down and get it uh, center, get the center of gravity on this thing, right? And uh, it'll turn easy. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's just like putting a, a bolt rotisserie on it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to fix it where it would be perfect. I'm just trying to. We're going to use your ideal by putting the uh, board across it there, right? And to uh, fix it to where. I think probably put one screw in it and then that way you can do it like an old door, like you said, fold it over. Yeah, and, and just hold, that's be the best thing. I mean, cause we could spend yeah. a whole day trying oh, to, yeah. to get this thing where it'll be balanced on its own. I got some uh, screws probably. Uh, I got
This thing holds about 110 pounds. And if you're doing real good, you can shift it out of there in about 15 minutes. It'll be empty. 15 minutes, it'll be empty. Mm -hmm. There's your new one, son. I didn't wear no mask in my... I had all... Put the pressure on it. Stop breaking all that gas. Water at? Yeah, with the water you had. You want it? Slow go, but it's getting all that rust off. Oh, 
Okay, again. Yeah. All right. Well, that's backwoods for you. Put that on your head and look through it. And see I will. What I'm see if you think it needs the lens changed in it. I'm gonna let Jay put that on. And see what he thinks. About it. Yeah. Can you see anything? You think it needs changing? Let me say, it's beyond needing a change. Yeah, it's way beyond needing a change. See, that's what I've been saying all along, folks. And I ain't gonna say this with him close by, because I don't want him to get mad at me. But, uh, it's like this. He waits and waits till, uh, it's to the point where you, uh, you can't use it. Instead of PMing it, fixing it, you just wait till it's just teetotally uh, useless. Which I guess you're getting all your money's worth out of something when you do that. But in the meantime, it's terrible. Can't even see out of it. It was like looking through a, uh, I don't know. You can describe it many different ways, I guess. But it's like just looking through smoke. Like a constant uh, haze of smoke. You just, you're not seeing any details at all. Hopefully we can get that resolved on that mask. Yeah, I see it. I've just been taking cutting the piece out. Oh. You know, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> he pretty said he's got some possibly in there, but he just don't know where they're at. Yeah, maybe the old minute man could be able to see some things better now with this clear glass in there. We can hope. Well, how does it look? Let's see your uh, new uh, new hood there. Man. You're definitely going to be uh, seeing what you need to see now. Uh, say it again. You're going to... That's where the steering sector, the old steering sector used to boat. We're going to go ahead and pull it out of there and clean it out. You say you're going to cut it out? Yeah, then I'm going to cut them pieces. Yeah, that's just box. where you're going to box it in. Yeah. And he said he was going to use this metal right here. Right here. To, to do that. And of course, he talked about that in previous videos. 
So uh, finally, after about six months, we're back at it again. Uh, but hey, there needs to be in progress in other areas for we for us to get to this where we're at right now. And uh, it just takes time, but. We've had fun filming the other things that we've uh, filmed, uh, from cutting trees and to uh, cleaning up a little bit. Uh, feel like we made a dent in it at all. Oh, uh, maybe it's a little better. So you have to sift it up? Yeah, I'll show you that. You'll spend more time unstopping the blaster than you will the time you're going to take right here to uh, run it through here. Okay, so he's rocking. See right there? Well, the old Minute Man taught us something here. Uh, probably many of you already knew that, but uh, that's a good tip. Go ahead and sift this sand out before you try to use it in your sandblaster. Well, folks, I guess that'll be all for this video, but don't you worry. We got plenty more coming down the pipe. And if you don't mind, let the minute man and me get our shoes off here and we're going to dump some of this sand out. And also we got some sand in some other places. But we'll just leave it at that for right now. But we appreciate y'all watching. And be sure to stay tuned for the next video. Y'all have a blessed day. Well folks, this is the end of this video. We hope y'all have enjoyed it. In the next part of this series, we will be working on that boxing in on the frame. Now please be on the watch out for that video, but until then, y'all subscribe and like these videos. We sure would appreciate it.